Hi everyone, it's Joni again. I just thought I'd pop back on and hopefully make a video that's not quite as long as the one previous to this, but uh, I saved these pieces. Um, if you saw my video right prior to this one, you'll, you would have seen where I um, took these from, but I saved them. There's another whole little tile of them. And I want to make something out of them, maybe some necklace pieces. And what I did was I had this sage, which I mixed clays to get the sage. And uh, then I decided I would make it lighter. And so I mixed um, some pearl, Primo, uh, in with this. And this is what I came up with. So it's lighter. And then I'm also going to use this fuchsia that I mixed in uh that I had used on the, those pieces as well, and I had mixed it with a little pearl clay too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the pieces on the dark sage, and then I'm going to back some of them with the light sage and some of them with the pink. Um, so we'll see how that goes, okay? Let's just, uh, I'm gonna move these over a little bit. Um, let's see here. Take, put them on a different tile over here. And that, uh, sorry, I just wanted to show you what I had made. Uh, what clays I was going to use. And I'll put this over here too. And we'll use that pretty soon too. But let's bring this one down here. Now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just lay these on here kind of willy-nilly. Some of these are thicker than other ones because when I was shaving the clay off that horse, uh, the back of the horse, um, I dug deeper th than I should have on some. So I'm gonna run, I am gonna run this one on a, uh, let's see, on a one through my pasta machine. That is the second largest or thickest. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put that one right there. That's a nice big piece. And let's see, let's pull this one in. And I'm going to run all of them through on a one because that, that'll make them all even. Some don't need it, some do need it. So let's see, I'm going to do this, or I think I'm just going to do, I'm going to do this. And some can overlap a little bit. That's fine with me. Okay, let's take this one. This feels thin, but I'll run it just to see. And I don't want this piece. I just noticed I don't want that one right there. So I'll take that off. You may hear um, noise in the background. My husband's been working on those shelving units for our storage room, and he's done, but now he's vacuuming so let's see put that there and oh this is such a pretty little one this is very thin i'm not going to run it at all so i'm going to run that one right here and let's see here um, get some of that lighter color in oh this is a pretty one too that's pretty. Uh, let's see. Do I want the back or the front? I want this one. Okay. Put that there. And I might just use a few more little pieces here and there. I think I might use that there. That was thin, so I just put it on like that. I might use this one right here. And what I'm going to do now is burnish this. Let me just see if I can get another little one here. And put that one right there. And I might... <laughs> what are you crying for, Bella? Oh, our little peekaboo. She loves attention. We call her Princess Bella. <laughs> Love her to death. But she really likes attention. Okay, let's see, that or this, not that. Okay, and here's another little area down here. Let's see, I'm gonna cut this. Uh, 
from it. Okay. I think I'll put that there and just cut it there and there. I don't know. Maybe I don't have my board real straight here. I'm going to try to pick this up and move it a little bit. Maybe I'll get it more in line so you can see it here. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay, that is all I'm gonna use in my pieces. I just have a couple little tiny ones left. So we'll see how this goes. Um, this will be a hard burnish because some of these are thicker than the other ones, but let me see, I'll just try it. If not, I'll just go ahead and roll it through the pasta machine too. But I'm just gonna try to burnish. You can use your finger to do this, but um, since I bought this little thing, soap-like burnisher, I'm gonna use it. And I don't think my finger would work as well as something a little bit heavier. I, I can see that I might have to roll this through. And what I might do is cut it in half too. I don't know, let's we'll see. Ooh, that's so pretty. Those colors are gorgeous. Um, I know, Sharon, you you told me um, these are two of your favorite colors, sage and pink, and they are just beautiful together. So pretty. So you burnish, 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 burnish. As you can see, it kind of blends it. Uh, it still will be thick in some places and thinner other places, so that I'm gonna wanna probably run it through on the pasta machine so I can get it even. But I'd like to get some of the lines out first. And I wanted you to see the whole process. I have, I really haven't made much jewelry, many jewelry pieces lately. I've just ma been making, well, unless you consider my littles, and some of my other pieces, jewelry pieces, I guess you could. I have a friend, Wendy, um, who has some of my littles, and she's going to design some things for some for a little girl. She lives in Iowa. I wish she lived closer. We could get together with my sis sweet sister-in-law, Megan, and uh, work on crafts together. They like to do beading. I'm pretty much the only Claire right now, but, but that's fun. We can get together and do things. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> that is really pretty. All right, I'm going to run it through once. And um, I don't know, this might be a little bit too wide, so I might end up cutting it a little bit. But where I cut, I'll cut, I can just pull this, I think. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit so it doesn't stick too much when I bring it back on. Okay. All right, hopefully you can see that. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty. All right, let's see if it's wide. Oh, I can. All right, I'm gonna run it through on a one. my I love this I love this this is pretty so pretty now what you can do is uh, take a clean sheet and put that on and you'll see just little places where you still need to burnish Bella don't cry don't cry little Bella she has a whole box of toys, and of course, she wants something else that we don't know. She just, she's, right now she's sitting on the arm of the couch, or the sofa, looking up at, can you hear her? <laughs> Honey, come here, come to mom. I might have to go over and get her and just hug her a minute. 
I love her. We have another dog too. His name is Chewy. I think I've shown him them on my my deck tour. <laughs> yeah, we love our doggies. Chewy's a little bit more needy. He gets so scared of lightning and thunder and oh he just he'll go in our closet and cuddle under my clothes. Just cuddle under there like that's safe for him. And then uh, we did have to get asked the vet what to do because he's he it just oh he's so anxious about so many things anyway he did give us a medication that we can squirt um, on the inside of his mouth off to one side and um, that seems to calm him a little bit I just feel so sorry for him I hate to give anybody medication but that seems to help him Oh, this is really going to, these are going to be pretty pieces, I think, you guys. And I don't know that I'm going to cut this so in half or anything. Let's see if I do it. I think I did it the best I could here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right. Now, I do have this sheet. Um... I don't even know. It's It was huge. I, I cut a piece off the sheet. This is the piece I cut off. Um, anyway, I did it with a... I, did, I bought it for an acrylic pour once, if you know what those are. It turned out really pretty. But um, I would love to have an imprint in this. So I'm going to see if maybe I can just lay this here. And I what I don't want to do is I'm gonna press it start pressing it in I don't want to run it through the machine again so I'll press it down and then I'm gonna roll my roller over it a little bit my big my bigger roller hopefully it's, it's all down fairly good okay this is the one I showed you in the last video so I'm just gonna go over it one way once Okay, now let's see how that looked. Oh, 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 that's pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but, um, you know, everything's a little bit more fun with some texture, I think. Anyway, so now I have to get that up again and decide, let's see here. I might cut this in half because I have the light sage green and the pink to use, so... Um, let's see, where would I cut it? Um, I'm going to cut it right there. Okay. And I'm going to cut some of this end off. That is nothing I'm going to use because it's got a jagged end, so I'll just take that off. I'm trying not to make this video so long, you guys, I, but I wanted you to be included on it. Uh, you know, sometimes just one project leads to another, and that's what happened with this one. And I'll just trim a little bit off these ends. There we go. All right, Bella, Bella is still whining. Let me just pause this a second. I'll be back. Okay, I went and hugged Bella and convinced her that she didn't need to whine anymore, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm going to try to get this up since I pressed on it. One up at a time. Just cut into the bottom of that one. Okay, I'm just going to pull it up. Sometimes you don't want to do this because it'll stretch the clay, but I think we're good. We're good. And then I'm going to come on this side. And I'll just walk it back and forth. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. What am I going to use first? I think I'm going to use my light sage green first. I was just thinking I might do a couple of different things. 
And I would like some texture on this as well. So what should I do for that one? Mm -hmm. I might use this. I have this over here. I'm going to spray it. You don't have to use the same texture. I spray it with some water. I've got some left in here. I have these tiny, tiny little sprayers that I keep water in. But I was just thinking I might not have... Oh, yeah, I've got one that's got some in it. Okay, I've been using it a lot lately, so I didn't know if I had water in it still. All right, so what I'm going to do is off to the side, I'm going to spray this, and I'm going to spray this because I don't want my clay to get wet. So I'll just lay it on my right side and give a couple sprays. And then what I do is I rub my hand, just rub like this, rub my hand over it. And then I've got a little piece of paper towel over here I lay it on. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this, I can do it over here. And I'm gonna lay this here. And it's going to give, it's going to emboss and deboss at the same time. Because um, that's how the, this is this is made. But I love this print. I love, love, love this print. And if you want something to show on the back, this is a great print to have. Okay. Oops. I'm not so worried about getting this back imprinted because it's going to go, this is going to go on, or this, this will go on top of it, but I'll imprint it a little bit because it helps the front too. So this is where it's gonna bulge out rather than bulk, you know, sink in. So that's what I really want to see. All right. I'm gonna open it up slowly. Oh, look at that, you guys. Isn't that just gorgeous? That's just gorgeous. <sighs> and then the other side, is like this. They're both pretty. All right, I've got a piece of paper towel over here that I laid it on. Let me bring it over. And I'll grab another piece of towel and I just dab it. As I dab on the top, it's of course being dabbed on the bottom too by the other paper towel. So that's a good thing. It sounds like maybe my husband's done in the other room there with the vacuuming. Okay. A little clay on that. Okay. Now, you see a little pink clay here and a line here. It won't matter because this is going to lay over it. In fact, which one do I want? Um, I think I'll lay this one on top. Like that. Okay. So that's going to show on the back of it. That'll be the back of it. So what I'm going to do is trim this off before I get, get to messing around with it anymore. Okay. And then I flip it over. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm going to take some off the back of here. And I'm just going to straighten it out. So I'll take some off the back of there, too. And when you cut something off, um, sometimes you can separate them. These look pretty stuck together because I ran it together. Okay. But that's the back. So pretty. So pretty. But you can see how thick that will make it. Now what I want to do is decide what kind of a cutter I want to use and what kind of a shape I want to have for my necklace piece. And um, what I would like is to have it have a nice, a nice beveled edge. So I'm pulling out some of this again um, that I got at Costco. And I'm just gonna cover this, make sure it's on there and not bunched up. There we go, there we go, there. Oh, that's so pretty. Those colors are yummy. Uh, I am going 
to make, let's see, I'll make a few of these. Maybe I'll make something you like, and maybe you'll want to buy it. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to use some of these. These are fairly new. I love them. I just really love them. And they come in different sizes. I generally use the smaller size. Um, okay. I used to do bigger pieces. I don't necessarily do that anymore because, you know, if you're going to make jewelry with these, if you're going to add your ideas to them, um, here you go. This and, oops. This, this, and this. And I usually use that size. So those two are the ones I usually use. But I've used this one too. So um, I think I'm gonna stick to the smaller ones. I think they're so pretty. Anyway, if you wanna add things to it, like beads and so forth, something that hangs down in the middle of the cabochon, um, it's kinda nice to have it that size. All right, let's see, where can I go with this? Um, as long as I've got this in view, you know what? I need to just pick it up and turn it so the whole thing is in view for you. Okay, there we go. And I need to get my tile ready to go. So I've got my tile and I've got my patty paper on the tile. They're gonna sit right next to me. So once I cut it, I can put it over there and it's ready to go to the oven. All right, let's see. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I will push it in, and then I generally will grab one of these to help me. And I move it back and forth a little bit, a little bit. That should give me a nice bit of edge. Should we check? Let's see if I went through, first of all, I did. Oh, isn't that pretty? That is lovely. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just see if I can bring this down a little bit. Okay. Let me pull it off. This is a little harder to do with one hand. i got to hold my other thing up, but there we go. All right. There it is. Isn't that pretty? Now what I do is I go around it and I smooth the edges. This saves so much time. Um, so you don't have to sand around the edges unless you miss a spot. And you don't have to, um, you just don't have to worry about all that so much. You still have to do some sanding here and there. But, and you don't want to distort your piece either. Ah, can you hear Bella over there? So anyway, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here, and that's number one. That's number one. And I do think I am gonna use, um, this I'm gonna use a small one, but I'm gonna use one of the bigger ones too. Um, I think I wanna come this way. I wanna for sure get some of that pink in there. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then she drops her ball at my feet and becomes demanding that I kick it. Oh, maybe I can get my husband to help me out here in a second. Okay. As you can see, that one, I should have pushed a little harder on it. It didn't come clean on that one side. Now it did, I think. Well, let me just pick it up here and see. <laughs> That's pretty. I like it. All right. There we go. I need to put this back out. Oops. In, in, in. There we go. And you can see what I'm doing. Can you see why you have to smooth it a little bit? It has a little ridge sometimes. Um, I'm going to be very careful to push harder next time. But, like I said, when you do this, you don't want to distort your piece, if possible. This clay was very soft. Um, 
I like my clay a little harder when I work with it, but this this clay was so pretty, I wanted to use it. All right, so there's that. Pretty. So that one's done. And we'll come back in. Let me clean this up a little bit. And I'm going to make a little bit larger one here. And a smaller one, too, but a larger one for sure. Okay. So I've done that one. If you don't keep this uncrinkled, um, the crinkle will show when you cut the clay. You don't want it, you don't want that to show. Alright, so ooh, this is a gorgeous spot right there. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So I need to, I'm gonna bring this in for doing it right away. I, and then I'm standing up too, you guys, because I get more pressure that way. I was sitting before. So I think this will be good. Oh my goodness, isn't that gorgeous? Do you see how the plastic stayed? If I couldn't have gotten it off with my fingers, I'll, I use a, a piece of scotch tape, just stick it to it and it comes right up. So let me just take that off and in case you're wondering what the other side looks like, look at that. You could always add some Pearl X. I like to do that sometimes. Now, let me check the sides of this. This is really pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, let me come up a little bit. I'll sit down. Bouncy, bouncy. I'm just basically smoothing around the edges, really. This looks really good. And so what you do is you get that, um, that beautiful um, light sage green on the back, and then you get this gorgeous floral, sort of a mo mokumigane look to it on the front. And this was a happy accident. <laughs> I wasn't really planning this. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I think that's so lovely. Really lovely. Okay. Let's see what we can do now. I'm going to get one more from this particular sheet, and then I'll do more off camera. But, um, ooh, I like that down there, too. Uh... No. I want some pink in it. I think I'll, I'll do that one. Bella, no, no. Okay. That's one of the smaller pieces. And I'll move that. Oh, isn't that cute? Wouldn't these make cute cabs for a necklace? When you come under that sometimes like that and lift it up, it takes a little bit of the design away, but it still leaves some. So, yeah, that's looking good. Make sure everything's okay as I go around here. All right, there you go. Um, I'm gonna see if I can bring it in for you a little bit. I don't know, this doesn't, this looks like it's not focusing very well. There we go, there we go, okay. That's better. All right, so, so far what I've done is I've cut these shapes. Those are my beautiful cabochons or, and or earrings, whatever you wanna do. Um, now I'm, not going to finish this one. I'm just going to put it off to the side and finish it off camera. And I'm going to bring in the pink. And we're going to make some with the pink, with the pink background. Let's see. Um, because I like that print so much, we're going to do that again with this one, I think. And I'm going to be careful to just spray this right here on camera. Even if it did get on the clay, I guess it wouldn't hurt it that much. Okay. 
bring it in and lay it there and I am going to burnish the design into the clay like that. You could roll it. You could use your roller if you wanted to, acrylic roller or whatever, but I can like to use my little burnish tool here, burnishing tool. Okay, make sure I get it all the way I want it, and I will do the back a little bit. And as long as I've got it in here, I'm gonna come along the side and just cut this off. I don't need that. I might cut more off on that side because it's kind of jagged on the ins inside here too. Let's see, let me get a piece of dry paper towel and pull this up and off. Lay that aside and bring it in. Oh, <laughs> oh that's gorgeous. This is Primo Fuchsia with Primo Pearl Clay mixed in. Oh my goodness, isn't that lovely? And I'm not precise with mixing. I really am not. I just keep mixing until I like the color. I know people out there um, sometimes want clay recipes for mixing colors. I don't do that. I just I just keep mixing till I get what I want. If that isn't gorgeous, I don't know what is. Okay. So let's turn this one over and let's bring this lovely piece in. Let's see, I think I'll bring it more toward that end and even bring some here. Okay, so the side we want to show on the back is over there. This is gonna be a nice thick, this will be nice and thick. Um, there we go. All right, uh, now I'm going to get some more of that and have um, have more of a beveled edge on these two. And that's just my favorite way to do it. Um, you can add uh, the Pearl, Pearl X powder in any way, or shape, or form you want to on the, to these, but this is such a gorgeous print, and the, the clay colors together are so beautiful that I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna, I might go back and put just touches here and there on the back, on the back of it, I don't know. Maybe not, maybe not. All right, get one part done and then I see another part that is pulling, like right there, okay. There. Okay, Woo. isn't that pretty? Not sure what's bulging under there. Okay, that's pretty. Now I am going to pull out. Um, I'm going to make some of these. They're a rectangle. They're small. I'll show you the big ones. I've got very big ones. This one is like four by two and three quarters. This one's way too big. This one is three by two. Again, for a cabochon, that to me is way too big. This one is um, two, about two by two. No, I'm not, not two by two, I'm sorry. Two by one and a fourth. And to me, that's just a nice size. So I'm gonna use that one. And then I had another cover in here. Yeah, this one. Now these are very similar, but as you notice, this has a rounded edge and this has pointed point on the top and bottom, and I like that. But I like that too. So I might come in and do this one first. And you you can wear it this way, this way, you know, whatever way you prefer. But the way I'm going to cut it is that you would wear it this way. So let me try. I'm gonna try right there. Bella, Bella, Bella. Yes, I sing to her. 
Maybe my husband will come out shortly and get her. That would be that would be nice. She knows she can get away with it too. You know what? I usually remove those right away, but that looks I think I'm gonna try another one as long as I'm here with that one. Because I'm gonna go down here. I, I like to Oh, that's pretty. That would get some of that. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And you would do the very same with these. You would smooth the edges. Oops, I just really pushed on that one. And I think I'm going to make... Um, is the other one. I'm going to make one that's just a little bit bigger. Um, what I've found is that if you are a bustier woman, I'm not, <laughs> you can wear this bigger jewelry. But it, when I wear bigger jewelry, it overwhelms me. It overwhelms my chest. <laughs> so usually I wear smaller pieces, but Maybe you're a person that can wear the bigger pieces. That would be great. Now, what I'm going to try to do is to lift it and see if we... Nope, that one didn't go through all the way. It doesn't want to go through all the way. Okay. You're getting this all in the rough, aren't you, you guys? But that's a good thing, right? Okay, there we go. There we go. Ooh, pretty. Now, these two pieces... The plastic stayed on, so now you'll see what I do. I've done this before. You've probably seen it before, but I take a piece of scotch tape, touch it, pull it off. Take a piece of scotch tape, touch it, pull it off. Oh, those are gorgeous. Oh, these colors. Oh, I'm liking those so much all the time. I mean, I liked them before, but in this way, I like them even better. Okay, look at now you get to see the pretty pink. The other one was the sage, and it's thinner too. The pink one is a little thicker. Okay, and I can work on that. There was something under there. I need to get that off. But isn't that just absolutely positive? Whichever way you wear it, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. All right, put that over there, and then I'll take these two, put these over there. And smooth it out again. Do you guys have any pets that do things that, you know, where they want, you, they want your attention and you know it? <sighs> because that's what they do. I know Emma's kitty scratch on her door. <laughs> They're so cute. We love our pets, don't we? Oh, my goodness. Emma, those kitties that you used on some of those keychains, so cute. So, so cute. All right, there's that one. That's gorgeous. And let's pull this one up. Okay, that's pretty too. Oh my. Now here you have, I like to push the corners down a little bit so they're a little bit more rounded than so sharp. I do that on all of them that are more square or more oblong, or I mean rectangular. It's just me. That's just the way I like a corner. I like it a little bit more rounded. Okay. All right. Isn't that lovely? All right, ladies and gentlemen, if there are any men watching, um, I am going to now put this, I'll show you, put this group in the oven and uh, let it cure for an hour at 275. But while that's happening, then I'm just gonna finish making these. And so when everything's done, I'll have another video to show you. How would that be? And let me just bring this back up here because I think it's, oops, they're pretty. So you can just get, take another little peek at what we've got here. Move this off a little bit. There we go. And there are the cabs for some necklaces. All right, I will see you, whoops, I will see you in a little while.